Hi everyone, it's Kathy. I thought I would show you the planks that I have planned for the February challenge. So I just wanna go over them to give you form um, and so you can kind of better understand what they all mean because I don't want any excuses, all right? So Ozzy is tooling around down here. So those of you who have requested him, he might be making some appearances and he might be barking as well. So anyway, so we're gonna start with the plank for this month, which is the alternating knee tap. So basically you're coming into your forearm. So when you come onto a forearm plank, your elbows, wrists, and shoulders are straight aligned. All right, the head and neck is in neutral. I'm gonna come here so you can see me here. All right, so all we're doing here is we're bending one knee and then the other. Every time you tap that knee, you come back up and you squeeze your glutes and quads. Remember, a plank is a straight line, so it's not up here. All right, anytime you need a break, you sit back into a child pose and come right back. Now, where you should not be feeling this is in your shoulders and in your neck, all right? Your body is absorbing all of that weight in your whole body, not just your shoulders. So if you're in this plank and you're feeling like, oh my God, why is my shoulders killing me? Could be that you're tensing up, could be that you're rounding the shoulders, and it could be that you're leaning into those shoulders. So you wanna make sure that that weight is evenly distributed when you're in a plank. You should predominantly be feeling that in your quads, in your glutes, and in your abs, 360 degrees. All right, so that is the, the plank for the February 1st through the February 7th. February 8th through the 14th is a regular forearm plank on our forearms once again, but this time we're gonna tap forward alternating arms for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna tap to the side for 30 seconds, okay? So in motion, it's gonna look like this. Elbows, wrists, shoulders in one alignment, squeezing your body in one unit. You reach, you reach, 30 seconds. Now, hip action, none, all right? So we're not rocking side to side. Everything's locked and loaded, neck is in neutral. 30 seconds front, then we're taking it straight here. Now, I don't want your head down here when you're doing your planks. Keep that neck in neutral, brace those abs, squeeze your glutes, squeeze those quads, alternating sides. Oh, goodness gracious. This is why I can't have him down here. Everything bothers him. All right, so hopefully you got the idea into those planks, those hand taps, forearm 30 seconds, alternately tap. Now, you're gonna really feel some shredding going on. It's a good one. All right, so February 15th through the 21st, you're going to be doing side planks, my nemesis, okay? So here's what I want. You're gonna be on your side. Again, elbow, wrist, shoulder alignment. You have an option here, bottom leg, top leg straight. You can hold your plank right here. See where this arm is? It's here, not flopped over here. So there's a straight line from this hand down to here. All right, that's where I want you. Lifting from your bottom hip, to the top, straight line. All right, so options. Staggering your feet, and it's gonna give you a little more traction to the bottom of your leg. And what's gonna happen is when you do that, you're gonna really feel this, and you're gonna need to keep that body for, uh, uh, stacked so you're not rotating forward. All right, level three right here. Having those feet stacked on top of each other, lifting from the bottom, keeping that arm up here. So if your arm is here or here, you're probably rotating forward. I don't want that. So you're gonna hold. All right, you rock stars, you wanna add a leg? Go for it, you overachievers. All right, but I want good form. Again, if you're feeling it predominantly in your shoulders and your neck, chances are you're leaning into that. So you wanna support your body in your entire lever. All right, keeping those hips stacked and that hip pointing to the sky. Oh my goodness. Okay, last one is February 22nd through the 28th is a body saw and a palms up plank. All right, so the difference between those two, now a body saw, you're actually gonna be moving your body forward back. So you're gonna really get a little shredding going on. It's a good work for abs, right? All right, so again, elbow shoulder alignment straight here. You're going to flex your feet back and forth as you rock. Now it's not this, and I'm not leaning here forward, 
back, body's moving in one unit. All right, core is nice and engaged. After that, flip your palms up and you hold for 30 seconds. The minute you flip those palms up, you're gonna feel that engagement a little bit differently in your abs, all right? So you'll feel that. You'll hold that for 30 seconds. Now, intensity-wise, if you struggle with any of these, throw the time frame out. Do what you can. Modify as you need to. See the progress that you are making. All right, now let's go to the push-ups. Push-ups, 15 the first, 10 the first week, 15 the second, 20 the third, 25 every single day. Now, do you have to do them all at once? You can do five here, you can do eight here, you can do 10 here. You can break them up all day long, I don't care. You can do one every hour for, for 10 hours, you know. You can do them any way you want. There's no rules here, all right? And you can do them any way you can, all right? If you're new to push-ups, go to the wall. You have a couch, you can go there right off the couch. Remember, it's one unit, all right? Your body's in one line, in and out, all right? You're new to push-ups, bring one foot in, and just lean forward here, all right? You can do that off of the wall. You can do it off of a bench, off of a chair. The higher the incline, the easier this is for your body. So if you're struggling with upper body, that's a great way to modify. All right, maybe you have a stability ball. You can do it prone over the stability ball, like over the ball, like that. Or you can take your ball, place it against the wall, and you can do push-ups right off of that, that, that ball. Keeping that body in a straight line. You're going to really feel it in your chest. You're going to feel it in those triceps. Bosu, if you have a Bosu, great. Maybe you want to stagger your push-ups. Maybe you want to do a step-out push-up. One to the side, take it in. One to the side, take it in. Maybe you want to do a push-up with a leg up. All right, maybe you want to do a one-legged push-up in and out and switch legs. Flying in here. Where your hands are, closer together, a tricep. You can go even super wide if you want. You can go staggered. You can have one elbow in and one hand wide, which is gonna be a staggered push-up. And what that is, it's gonna be working, one arm is gonna be working your tricep, one arm is gonna be working your chest. All right, you can take it down and up, then you can switch it out. These are staggered push-ups, so you're accomplishing your tricep and your chest at the same time. There are no rules here. The only rules I have is that you stay true to your form. Think about what you're doing. If something is bothering your necks, your shoulders, your wrists, either let me know or modify. And it's only a number. If you can't do 20 push-ups, even if you break them up during the day, do as many as you can. All right, it's all about a challenge and this is all about what you can do. So let's do this together, guys. Let's get strong for 2021. Thank you for Janine for sending this challenge to me. I really, really love it. All right, so you guys be well. Push-ups and planks, I wanna hear how you do and make sure you do them, okay? I'm not gonna be checking up on you all the time. You know, you guys gotta put it in your mind. Maybe put it in your phone, maybe do a reminder to remind you to do it, okay? All right, you guys, have a good day and I will see those core muscles popping in March. All right, see you soon. Take care, bye.